Imagine taking a summer swim on the moon. You dive in, splash around, and wait, why is all the water floating away? Oh no, your pool just exploded into space. Let's say we somehow build a big Olympic-sized swimming pool on the moon. No problem, right? We bring some water, fill it up, and grab our floaties. But the moment we pour that first bucket, things get weird. The moon has no atmosphere and only about one-sixth of Earth's gravity. That means there's almost no air pressure holding things together. So when liquid water touches the moon's surface, it doesn't sit quietly. It instantly boils and freezes at the same time. The top layer would boil off into vapor because there's no air pressure, but the rest freezes solid in seconds because it's really cold, around minus 250 degrees Fahrenheit in the shade. So, instead of a nice blue pool, you've got a shiny block of space ice surrounded by a cloud of steam. Congratulations, you just invented the least relaxing spa ever. And even if you tried putting a roof over it, say a giant dome to hold an air pressure, well, lunar gravity would make the water behave strangely. Waves would rise higher and fall slower. A cannonball jump could send water floating in mid-air air for a few seconds before it slaps back down in slow motion. Swimming laps would feel like moving through a dream, each stroke launching you forward in glorious moon slow motion. You'd look awesome until you accidentally jump too high and hit the dome ceiling. But here's the wildest part. If you took off your helmet underwater, assuming you somehow had a breathable dome, you'd instantly drown. Your lungs can't handle the weird low pressure. So yeah, moon pool parties? Probably not coming to NASA's vacation package anytime soon. So in the end, putting a pool on the moon gives us frozen steam, floating waves, and zero fun. But hey, we would get one spectacular science experiment and maybe the coolest ice rink in the solar system. If you enjoyed this splash of space science, hit that like button, dive into the comments with your own what-if ideas, and don't forget to subscribe for more weird questions with real science answers.